Hello, I thought I'd uh, broach another topic here. I uh, saw some posts in uh, on Steam and uh, watched some videos on YouTube and guys were asking questions about how do you actually um, set up your PF to, uh, to uh, be more successful. And I don't know whether what I did was something special or if I just happened on it. Um, I stumbled across it uh, when I got started. But my PF, if I could show you this, uh, on the weekly league, I've never been beat. I've been tied twice, but we're halfway through another event here, and I'm winning pretty consistently again. We're about halfway through it, and if you take a look at the next page, which is the victory points, um, I'm way ahead, and I... I'm not sure how that how that particularly happened, except I can show you what I did. So as I as I started to look at um, what you needed to do to upgrade your uh, to upgrade your base and your platforms, I started to notice that the better guys that I was getting, uh, mostly the combat unit, was leveling quicker because the guys that I had in the combat unit had higher skills in combat. So I think what the game does is it actually uh, adds up a number of points in each area for the skills across each character and the combined points in that area end up leveling your uh, platform is what makes sense to me. I think that's what happens. So the better guys that you actually um, Fulton, uh, Fulton out uh, that have higher stats all the way across the board, I think the higher your platforms are going to go. So, in any event, this is how I ended up doing this, is that I took, there's an auto-sort method in here where you can go under staff management, and the auto-sort method that made sense to me was, well, you know, I don't want anyone you know, messing with my base, so I came over here once I had a security team, and I think you have to kind of earn that by building the base up to a certain degree. But um, I went over to All Staff, which is over uh, two clicks from the right, and then I did the sort thing, which is your E key. It says E sort right under the photograph of the, of the guy. And you might have a, a different uh, setup on, on the organization of that window. You can do it in different ways. But I usually do this by skills. Okay. So I'll sort this by skills, and in the interest of time, I won't go all the way down. But one of the things that I look for uh, in skills is to get everybody always on duty. And one of the things that was screwing me up early on was the fact that there was a bunch of guys in sick bay uh, and a bunch of guys in the brig because they were fighting and they were causing problems. And I figured out that that was from something, uh, a type of skill over here on the right-hand side. Notice where it says under Pouncing Husky. On the right-hand side says Gunsmith. Well, there's some guys whose skill set, right after Boaster and before Diplomat, I might have one here, yep, is Troublemaker. So after the, the group of Boasters, when you sort this by skills, and right before Diplomats, which there's usually a bunch of them, there's usually a couple of guys called Troublemaker, and the guys that are violent uh, get into fights and send guys to, uh, to sick bay. So they're not on duty. So they're not their particular skill set is not raising my uh, raising my uh, stats for that particular area. So what I started doing was uh, auto sort, get this guy and give him a, a G key, which selects him, and then hit your space bar, which says down in the center on the bottom, change assignment. Select unit. And go up to dismiss and say, get out of here. I don't need your I don't need your garbage. Stop messing dismissed. with my people. So that's the first thing I did was I got rid of my troublemakers and the other thing I did was now uh, E will sort it, the E key will sort, the V key will auto assign and it gives you uh, some auto assign things and what I did to protect my bases is I started auto assigning by security. Staff assigned. So it's it uh, assigns my guys to the security team first now, when I was building, and there, I really wasn't doing a lot of FOB stuff, I would send them to the combat because the guys in my combat, as I was building, they didn't have really high skills, so some of the missions I could send them out on to go get higher level guys, um, I would prioritize the combat because they weren't high enough yet and didn't have enough skill set, 
and weren't able to bring back S plus guys and S guys. So I would do that on the combat side. I would time sort this, but I would choose uh, combat unit prioritized as I was building. Now that I've got a um, uh, platform and a uh, forward base of operations um, fully outfitted with 1,400 staff maxed, and some decent guys in in that area. Um, I've been sorting by security team. So now that I sort by security team, and I'll do it again. I already did Staff once. assigned. Uh, it puts the strongest guys with the strongest skill set. Let me get over here to the security group. And notice what their skill set is. S double plus and S plus with A plus plus and the other in the other areas. Uh, that raises the security team's level. And I still need some better guys in here, but uh, you look at these guys and it puts better guys on the de defense of your platforms. So I think that has a lot to do with the fact that in the weekly PF leagues, I'm doing really well. And I, uh, I already only uh, joined one short league and I want it. So I'm not sure if that those hints actually help you or if that uh, you know is old information. But uh, I've been doing rather well with it and uh, just wanted to share the information that I that I had put together about how I was accomplishing these things uh, so that other people could maybe learn from it. And I'll just flip through the rest of my platform stuff. Most of the skills here uh, that I've got at this point are either A or S, which I thought was pretty good. Uh, as I get better guys with better skills all the way across the board, I'm hoping that will actually go up. But uh, at this point, um, I've been doing pretty good with the uh, PF grade. I'll show you that one more time again. The weekly league that I've been... Uh, we're in the middle of at this point. I've won every time. And you can pause the video to look at my, my, uh, my stats uh, on defense versus this guy, Red Grand Grumble. Uh, my, uh, my stats on defense are level 83, his offense is level 50. My offense is level 77 with Shin Shinigami Zylon, and his defense was 68. So I think that auto sort, which makes it actually pretty quick to do once you know that it's there, can uh, put you in a better position to actually win some of these. So if that helps you, fantastic, and I'll, I hope to see you in game. Um, you know, give me a like in the uh, in the videos on my on my Steam account or in YouTube wherever you're watching it. And I'll thank you for that. See you in game. Have a good time. Bye bye. Hello, folks. We're gonna try this again. Um, K9 here, and I'm going to just go through a couple of side ops. Analysis and whatnot. complete. Analysis complete. Analysis complete. And on the way. Analysis complete. There we go. Marker placed. Go shopping for some guys that uh, can raise your base score. Uh, and this is a pretty good example of that. He's got uh, Intel, but the rest of uh, his skills all the way across are A plus or better. So he will raise the score on each of your platforms to some degree. If all of your guys looked like this, your plat sc platform score would be very high, but some of your guys, I would imagine, have B's and C's in them and things like that, so over time you should be raising your uh, scores. I'm going to see if I can actually just get him to come out here on the zone so I can nap him and leave the rest of these guys maybe on the You have arrived. 
at your destination. That's who I came shopping for. He's coming too. Roger that. skilled soldier area uh, a little sooner than I thought I would. And we do have an answer for that. One is keep moving, the second one is do some terrain. Flank him a bit because he's looking in the direction of the jeep. If I'm not there, we'll be looking over there. Enemy presence detected. The map has been updated. Analysis complete. Analysis complete. Just in case you're looking at this and you're an early player, if you notice this pixelated um, indication here, analysis complete. Marker placed. Before I scan them myself, and their and their indicator becomes solid, that is the dog or the wolf that you pick up early on in the missions. Who's actually scanning this stuff for you? He senses this stuff out gives you a heads up on it. Enemy detected. The map has been updated. And he's one of your buddies, and he is just uh, he just turns us into total easy mode. Even though this uh, this mission, this side up, is uh, do something in particular with the highly skilled soldier, highly skilled soldier, he just his stats are more. This is part of the mission. We'll get him back to mother base and end up feeding him to the dog. Arrived at Mother Base. Hey, 
guy we marked was the guy we really wanted. That's the kind of thing you want to do to go shopping for better guys. We uh, we hit a couple of outposts and uh, got two guys whose stats were actually uh, an upgrade to all the way across the board to somebody who doesn't have uh, A's and A pluses backing them up all the way across the board. So that'll raise your, your base scores. So good luck with that. I hope that helps you. Take care. K9 signing out. Hope to see you again soon. Thanks for watching.